get into the gift guide. Hot gift. Yes. You're like, literally, what am I gonna get this man? This is great. Oh, I never thought about that. I think you don't wanna buy for yourself, but like anyone would be happy with it. You've seen it on You've TikTok. You've seen it. Yeah. The trendy gal in your life. Love. 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 Love, love. Hello, you guys. What's up? Welcome back to Gals in the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. I'm Brooke. Happy Wednesday, guys. Happy Wednesday. It is December. Hopefully, you're all cozied up somewhere yeah. at your office, on your walk. I love realizing where people listen to us. Me you know? too. I wonder what like the top category. <laughs> the top place? Yeah, the top place. Like Spotify Rap just yeah. came out, and it's yeah. like, I wonder what the top location people are. Is it in the car, on the train, mm. on I a see bus? a lot of cars, and I see a lot of walks. I do. I when see people that too. post their yeah. stories at least. I love a podcast in the shower. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you I do. I love it. It's like story time. I'm like, oh, let me cue this up. Put on the water temperature. Up. Oh, I love best. it. I love it. I've definitely started to do that. I can't lie. Yeah. It's just like you have someone, especially if you're doing like the shower, you're in there longer. So uh -huh. you get entertainment. Yeah. And it's like the post shower bit too. You know, when you're oh, doing yeah, like your, yeah, your skincare and everything. Oh, I love it. And you're just giggling and gabbing. And yeah, you are. Oh, giggling and gabbing. Um, well, we're really excited today. We're going to be doing an episode with gift guides. And we I feel like we've done these before, and they're honestly all over the place. And Brooke was like, let's do categories. I was like, that's a good idea. Just instead, because I feel like you could just list good gifts. But this one we tried to, I mean, of course, it's still a little vague, the categories. But yeah. we did for her, so like mom, sister, friend. For him, brother, boyfriend, husband, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you for the girl would be for your wife. wife. Yeah, yeah, of course. F put whoever in these categories. And then we did just general under $50 and general under $25. Um, if you're doing like Secret Santas or you won't have a specific price point. Um, Stocking yes. stuffer. I know. I feel like there's an abundance also of like gift guide content. Like it could seem like a lot mm -hmm. online. So obviously just know like you don't have to follow this. This is like to your own discretion. But I find it helpful. I like looking at other people's oh, too. Yeah. I find it helpful, one. And two, I just mm -hmm. love seeing what's what. Like mm -hmm. I love seeing what's, you know, trending right now. Like mm -hmm. what people are wanting, what... You know, I learn about new products during this time of year, and then maybe I'll bookmark it for later, like for a birthday yeah. gift or something in the future. Um, so yeah, and we'll s remind you guys again, but we wanted to make this very shoppable and easy for you guys. So we both have our LTKs linked down below always, um, but these will be amazing. So by each category on each of our LTK profiles, they will have like, you know, our collages, they'll have mm -hmm. their own posts, like the under 50, you can click on that one and see all five items under that. So, so easy. Yeah. It's very easy this time. So they'll be on our separate LTKs. Those are linked in the show notes, or mm -hmm. you could just go on the LTK app, search our names, whatever. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm very into LTK these days. It's easy to use. It's incredible. Like mm -hmm. it's just so nice. Cause now it, people, when people ask where it's from, like, just go to my LTK. I've already linked it. Yes. Whereas before it was like, Oh, it was on my story, but it already expired 24 hours ago. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty great. I feel like a lot of people use it. It's it's really fun. It's honestly addicting sometimes. Yeah. So, but um, before that, I need to hear about Spotify Wrapped. Like your Spotify Wrapped. My Spotify Wrapped. How many minutes did you listen to? That's a good starting point. Ooh, yeah. I feel like you listen to a lot more music generally were than I do. By, I didn't know like this was a lot. I listened to seventy six thousand nine hundred and twenty. That's a lot. That's What's like yours? double mine. Thirty eight thousand. Really? Yeah. But yeah, I guess I you're more of like a podcast in the morning. In the morning, I'm music, so mm -hmm. I feel like that's where mine adds on. <laughs> my I think my podcast was like twenty three thousand minutes. Oh, I didn't look. Yeah, it said it's on here on like one of the different tabs because you know you click through. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like cool. when people share their Spotify Wrapped. Maybe not every little detail, but yeah, like, like you know, one or two baseline. Sure, give me a little something. Something. I love it, and I think more people. I think it was just cool at first to be like, oh gosh, no one cares. <laughs> But now everyone's kind of like, I want to see. Actually, I'm curious. I'm curious about like celebrities or people who are like a little more. Yes. The mysterious cool girls who like wouldn't post their Spotify wrapped. I want to know what they're listening to. Like, what's your top artist? Yeah. I know. I, I was talking to a friend the other day and she was like, I'm so upset. I mean, this happened to me before in college. Like one of my deep focus songs that I used for her uh -huh. was one of my top songs. And it's like, come on. Hers was uh, White Noise. <laughs> That happens. Like, I saw on some people's, it was like ambient beats or something. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. That could be like one of your top artists. But I am curious, like people, I'm just, I'm into Sophia Richie Grange right now. Like what, what does her Spotify rap look like? Does she listen to music? Does she, 
Yeah. These are the people who I want to see your Spotify. Or is she like an Apple Music girl? It's always fun oh. being like, are they Apple Music or Spotify? Apple Music has the rap too, though. What like, do you think? I was going to say, what do you think Taylor Swift is? But I I don't know. I could see her being Apple Music. Oh, that she listens. Yeah. I was going to say Spotify because I listen on Spotify. Mm. But like, you never know. They're like, um, I don't know. You know, that's a fun they, Some people do both. Like, they listen to, like, certain things on certain Yeah. Ones. Well, now yeah. Apple Music has wrapped, too. Yeah. So you can see all them. the stats anyway. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like artists generally, they post, like, if they have a new song coming out, they don't just pick Spotify or Apple. Like, they'll post both. And they'll even post, like, Amazon Music, YouTube Music. True. Because you want to show all the platforms some love. Yeah. And I feel like from a business perspective, it's smart to be like, stream everywhere. Like, instead of just like, stream on this one. Yeah, or they'll share like their website and Mm -hmm. then you can go click on there. I mean, we're terrible. I think we pretty much always link Spotify. Well, because that's just what we use. We're like, yeah, we buy Spotify girlies. Yeah. We should do a poll on our Instagram story. I'm very curious to see who's listening on Apple versus Spotify so we can cater towards our our girlies, you know? That's a good point. What does your brother Mm. use? Spotify. What does your brother use? Apple. Mm. Really random. He loves like the playlist they make and stuff. I think you just get used to a certain platform. But I used to, and then I switched to Spotify. I mean, a long time ago, though. Yeah, yeah. Ben uses Apple Music. Really? Yeah. I see that. He works at the (laughs) Apple store. (laughs) He doesn't actually work. People are going to be like, wow, really? (laughs) No, No, it's it's a bit. Yeah, it's it's my type. It's. (laughs) working bit we have to bring that back that was such a good bit we do yeah we do need to bring oh uh, i feel like when we first started dating everyone's like oh my god you're so right you're like, dating you don't look like you. yeah. so, uh no he loves apple music i i and he shows me he's like look at the curation like the discovery i'm like i'm not arguing like you're not wrong but spotify also has amazing <laughs> yeah. spotify has ai dj mm-hmm. dayless mm-hmm. i mean the list goes on and on we're spotify girlies we're biased okay <sighs> so tell me what your who's your top artist well i, I think i know who it was it was drake right yeah <laughs> he's been my top Could've artist the last like three years mm-hmm. what about you who's your top uh, artist? mine was taylor swift actually oh my god yeah and i th- but she's not in my top songs and i think it's because i just was listening to like her whole music like repertoire and yeah. she's like the well, catalog year er- that's what i'm saying before the concert and like even after the concert then like I- she just has so much music that you could just listen to a different vibe of taylor swift every day it's so true mm-hmm. who was your second my let's second. go through our artists <laughs> And then it's all EDM. And then I have <laughs> Skrillex, Fred again, Drake is four for me. Drake was in your... Yeah, oh. yeah. He is another one, though, that has a huge catalog of music. Yeah. So I feel like it's, you know, like, you listen to... But it's Drake. No, of course. He was in my, like, maybe number one for me last year. Like, he... Okay. But I, it's, I listen to Drake in a different way than you do. I feel like it's... When do you listen to Drake? What time of day? <laughs> or what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, I, like, I... I feel like I'll just listen to like old Drake or like I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I have to like, be in a mood. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's how you listen to. Yeah, that's how I listen. Yeah, you're like excited about the new albums and stuff. That you're like, yeah, oh, new album day. True. His he released. So he released for all the dogs, and then did you see he released like that. Yes. Scary hours. I'll be first to admit it's not that good, except for the very last song. You mm. broke my heart is so good, but all the others like on. I and I'll admit. Yeah. Oh, that's great that you could admit. Did you get tickets to the tour? Or did they working come out on it? Oh, they didn't come out yet. Or? No, they're out. Oh. But I'm trying to convince people to go. Well, I have two friends that really want to go. My friends, Caitlin and Morgan. But it's like deep. It's like an hour and a half away. And I'm like, guys, come on, we can do that. You can definitely do it. Yeah. So I'm just. I, it's we're gonna do it. I think that we're just gonna wait to book to the new year. Mm-hmm. But we're going. I think it's in like February or March. Oh, that's kind of soon, actually. I know. But of course, the nights he's in New York, J Cole isn't with him. There was like an asterisk. Oh, are you serious? I know. So, but. My fr- they were they hadn't seen Drake's last concert. They were kind of like, I'm not super yeah, mad because yeah. they. I'm like, I don't care either way. Yeah. I mean, I would have liked J Cole, but I'm. That would have been like a different experience, though. You know, a little. Yeah, a little no, funky. I know. It would be so cool to see them. Okay, who, so who are your top artists? My number two was Taylor Swift, which is so funny. I got. I don't know if you got any DMs because you posted your rap, right? I didn't post my top. I think I posted that my genre or something. Or the, the songs. You posted your yeah, songs, I think, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the beeps and bobs. Well, I got a few DMs like, okay, Danielle, you're officially a Swifty now. I was like, because it's number two. <laughs> but okay. Oh, thank wow. You. It's funny because she was my number one, but I like didn't get any of those percentages of like top yeah. blah, blah, blah. Did you get the message fans. from Taylor Swift, though? I got a message from Taylor Swift. No, what was it? In the sl- in the sl- I was like, oh. thanks so much for being. Really? Maybe yeah, I missed so it. Sure. You probably, I probably clicked it quick. Because you were number one. Yeah. My number three was Luke Combs. Oh, Luke Combs. <laughs> number four, Morgan Wallen. Number five, 
Frank Sinatra. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. She has taste. It, honestly, yeah. like this though, really like mm. is me. Drake, Taylor Swift, Luke Combs. Yeah, yeah. Morgan Wallen, kind of Frank Sinatra. Like that's just me. I see that for you. Yeah, and then okay, top songs. Like you're not gonna know any of these songs, but so, our listeners oh. will. Are you kidding? We've got some Brooke Mitchell <laughs> fans here. I'm like these are not like known songs. Um, I had Rumble, which is a Fred again song. You've done enough is a song that I listened to. It's from Gorgon City. I listened to it coming home from a concert. Like coming home from that music festival, I listened to it like fifty something times. Well, like, is this the one that you were predicting? Yes, that was I was be like, on I didn't know it because I, I like it was on loop. We just got our wrapped for podcast. Oh, that's this is wait. So keep reading your song. I'll find this. Oh, uh, this is the 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 link. Oh, this is exciting. Sorry. Yeah, um, keep reading the songs. I'll load it. Sorry, up. and then I had in the Yuma. That was Chris Lake, "Eat Your Man" with Nelly Furtado. That was Dom Dalla, "Baby Again," which is Fred again. Um, my top genre was tech house. I know it's Fred again. Uh, Fred again. Fred what again. was your top genre? Oh, I where could I find? It was on my oh like, rap, uh, rap. Oh, rap. Just, oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have it loaded up, but I'll do my top songs. Were those all your songs? Yes, that's. <laughs> thank you. No, I <laughs> I enjoyed hearing. No, of course. I I actually want to make my top songs like playlist public. I think because I've I'm proud. Your what playlist? Like you know how it makes you a playlist curated then like of your top songs yeah. of the year, and I think you can choose to make that public or it like remains private. Oh, you should. Yeah, so I'm gonna do some. I didn't I realize that. Do that. What my top song is. I didn't, re- it's so crazy, you know, like what, what, <laughs> what, what you end up listening to that many times. Yeah. Like okay. I, none of, none of my top songs are Drake, but maybe it's cause I just, it's the Drake to, catalog. I'm yeah. telling you, he has so many songs. Yeah. How many songs does he have? He probably has 120 I could more than that. Guess. My number one song is the kind of love we make by Luke Combs. It's honestly, it's a slapper. Like I got so many messages like that one honestly just is a slapper. Two, these are so embarrassing. These are all my coffee house music. Skinny Love, but like the acoustic version. Oh, okay. Number three is Coffee, you know. Don't stay. Yeah, yeah. Number four, Ends of the Earth, Lord Huron, and five, Bloom. I don't even know who it's by. That's Odessa. Oh, I don't think it's that Bloom, oh. unfortunately. Mm. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah. It's so random. But like, it does make sense because I literally listen to those every morning. Um, every morning? Like you have like a... Those are like your big, like your, those my, are your big, big, <laughs> my big three. Yeah. Your rotation um, of morning songs. Yeah. Like non-seasonal. I have like a, yeah, I have certain playlists I, I see. listen to. I see. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. So I've just loaded up. I mean, you can click on it too. Oh. I was just, it had to Oh, this is a, a first reaction, like reveal. So I'm we so have excited. our gals on the go. Spotify wrapped. People were really feeling what you do. And thank you guys for tagging us in all of your stories. That was like Christmas morning for us. I yesterday. know we wanted to repost you all, but like I think people would actually hate us for that. Yeah, so. it's like the birthday, but ten times worse. We saw <laughs> them all ten times worse. Right. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you. Speaking of your top, your top episode was "Hot Girls Don't Gatekeep." Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. I would have never guessed that. No, me neither. Our top. Ep- this is on Spotify only. I think that was obviously. a good good name. It was streamed eight hundred and four percent more than your average episode. Eight hundred and four percent more. Yeah. That's a that's like a big percentage. I know. Let's hear it for the new fans. Half of our listeners discovered us in twenty twenty three. What? Spotify. Wow. It's either we're maybe we converted people to Spotify because oh our, our listens haven't changed much. I know. Unless <laughs> we're like we have. Um, most, a lot of our new listeners came from what we wish we knew before college. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, sorry, I'm just Cause we probably got a lot of like college gals like listening yeah. to that. You were streamed in 145 yeah, yeah. countries. United States was your top, I would imagine. Nice. Um, oh my God. We have the most new listeners in Morocco, Algeria, UAE, Uzbekistan, and Nepal. That's really wow. cool. Wow, thank you guys. Hello to you. Your listeners have good taste, obviously. I love like the little... Yeah, it's like hyping us up. Your listeners' top podcast genres were Mm. comedy, society, and culture, and arts. I think that's like what we're on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Your listeners' top genres... Okay, I love you guys, but we'll skip This is kind of dry. Give me some some juicy data. Your listeners told your friends about you. 45%... People um, like texted our link to other like like Ooh. an episode. Oh, um, our most shared episode was loneliness and feeling left out. Oh, oh my god! Maybe they were trying wow. to share with a friend. Oh, like, that's probably hey, buddy. yeah. Like oh, you should listen to this if you feel this way. Oh, <clears> yeah, I love that. I'm just tapping through. Do not mind me. 
This year, your listeners did more than just listen. They got talking. You created 51 Q&As, which received... Oh, those are like, you know, when you automatically like upload an episode. It like on Spotify, there's like a little section below it that says like... Q&A? Yeah. yeah. I don't even know if we've like looked at the, the Q&A though. Um, oh my there. God, I had no idea. This yeah, is yeah, so yeah. exciting. Um, now it's making me play a game. So we're just going to skip through that. You hit the charts in one country. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and peaked at number 10. When were, when were, where are these charts? What? You charted for a total of 41 weeks. That puts you in the top 10% of charted podcasters. Oh, wow. I need to know what these charts are. I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> they said, are you a gardener? Why? Because we're growing. Because your podcast saw some nice growth this year. <laughs> what type of growth? It's funny. 3% streams. <laughs> 3% growth? Yeah. 3%. <laughs> How is this? You're a top 10 podcast for 60,928 fans. For for how many? 60, uh, almost 61,000 people. Oh, that's We're a top podcast. Okay. And you're a top five for 44,000 fans. Thank you. What does fans mean? Like people that are subscribed to us? I guess. Because we don't even know how many people are subscribed. We only ever see listens. You guys are getting some data from us I know. This is like a big reveal. You're the number one podcast for 13,000 fans. Wow. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Like this is so cool. We love you guys so dearly. 73% are returning listeners. Sorry, guys. So <laughs> okay, I think that that's a wrap yeah. on the data. Yeah, um, it's, it's showing fire. I feel I like I'm in it. school. I feel no, like I, I just took a statistics class and I'm, you're losing me. We got to get him back. We're done. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you, Spotify. Thank you guys, obviously, all for listening. We love you very, very, very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you guys for joining that journey with us. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it. A live that review. Could be. <laughs> it should, well, it's, it's really cool because the podcasting world is so different where we see some data on the back end, but you'd be surprised. Like we don't know in comparison to other shows, mm. like we really don't know numbers. So Spotify wrap for podcasters is very exciting for us. It is Christmas mm. day. Christmas I mean, day. Here we are. Okay. With that being said, should we do our fave and rack of the week? Yeah, we should. Yeah, let's do it. Um, my favorite is a moisturizer, the summer Fridays moisturizer. Um, the cloud cream. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. In the jar. Yeah. This the texture of this is marvelous. Wow. It is. And they have like a thing on it that says like eczema foundation or whatever friendly. So I felt good to use it because mm-hmm. I have a, you know, I have some facial eczema right now. And I just think it's a dream. Underneath makeup, it lo- it looks wonderful. It's moisturizing without like being oily. It's thick, but I, it, like if you need a perfect winter moisturizer, like look no further. Talk dirty I, to me. Oh I'm a big fan. I know. So it's a really pretty bottle. Summer Fridays in general has great stuff. Incredible packaging. Yeah. Yeah. I've oh, actually, I've nice. been trying to like use a lot of the Summer Fridays too, because I like that oil too. And you know, you're supposed to use oil like on top of cream because it's the heaviest product. Did you know this? No, but the PR package I just got from Summer yes. Fridays, they said to use the oil after and I was mm-hmm. very perplexed. Yes. Oil, like a facial oil is always like the last step technically. I do opposite. I've always done opposite. Really? Oh my god! I need to try. Maybe this will change things. I don't know how, like, quite how different. Like I know that it's purposes. like serum first, and then cream, and then like oil. Technically. Oh, oh, oh! It's difference supposed to be like serum lightest and oil. Like the order of products is supposed to always be like lightest to like heaviest on your skin. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm getting serum and oils confused. So oh, I need oh. to get serum. Mine. It's like lighter, uh, lighter, you know, like it's watery. More, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, I see and then what you're oil saying. is like thick, deep moisturizing. You know, like gets you oily. Okay, this is helpful. Yeah, I, I learned I something. I don't today. always use an oil. That's only like I definitely games. don't think I ever really use oils. Mm-hmm. Often. All right. What's your fave? <laughs> um, no, I really learned something. My favorite is the Sephora Daily Brush Cleaner Spray. Um, so whenever we get our makeup done. Mm. I noticed that Kat or whoever we're um, working with that day will, you know, because they're on the go. They're going to someone, clean someone else's brushes. They just, like, spray a little something, something, and they wipe the brush. And I have noticed, I mean, this is, I do not clean my brushes. I don't. I clean them three times a year. Mm. That's generous. Mm. And I, use, I scrub them. I do all these things. And then they take forever to dry, and I have to, like, plan for, okay, my brushes are going to be wet. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. I know you have, like, the hanger thing. It's cool. But I'm, I noticed that my makeup literally applies better when the brush is like, cause mm. I used a new brush recently. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's just because it's like clean. So I feel like if I stay on top of it more by mm-hmm. br- like using a 
spray it's been amazing so i just bought this one at sephora the other day it was not expensive at all you spray a little bit on a paper towel and you just wipe it off you have to be more on top of it it's more of like a daily thing but you don't have to like use water or anything it's just so much easier and i love how my makeup applies yeah that's great so i think that's just a little hot tip because i know my brushes get super built up and then it's like a whole thing but you could just you know once a week just spray it on a paper towel get it rub it yeah and it dry like i was able to do my makeup a few hours later rather than that's great you know waiting for Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so yeah that was a big moment for me so right come to moment the scent of cat's brush cleaner and just like makeup arts in general these the cinema secrets one yeah i love it brings me back wow that's so interesting because you're not usually one to be like the scent of that that i that hit something with like nostalgia of like like theater and stuff like that like it brings it back in such a way that i'm like i'm i've i I, that activates me Oh, I love yes, that. Yes, places I'll have to give me it a in, sniff. Yeah, my childhood state. Um, amazing. Okay, mm-hmm. how about a wreck? Um, give us a wreck. Show on Netflix. Uh, I never watched the original Squid Game show. Did you ever watch that? Mm-mm. Me neither, because it was like really gory and like graphic and like I don't know. I just was like it wasn't for me. Yeah. But they made a. It's kind of weird concept because in the actual show, there's like a lot of like death and stuff. Like it's, you know, like kind of like it's like a game and like you die if you lose basically. But they made a real life version of it called like the Squid Game Challenge. You don't die. Like it's just like, yeah, yeah. It's just like a game show basically. But they do like the same concept. They start with like 400 people and then like there's different like challenges and stuff. It is crazily overproduced and over edited. But like if you can get past that, it's almost like edited in a way that I'm like, I, it keeps you interested though oh good job yes so they did they did good work i i, I love it like i just find it so enthralling oh and like gosh. yeah i mean the production on it is like next level because you could just tell like the way that the, mo- the money that they put into the show yeah, yeah i love that when you're like yes oh, this is a big film yes <laughs> i have a show on netflix you show think? on netflix i and it's like they're um posting the episodes like week I think that, like, there's one more drop maybe it's probably up by the time this is like up so you can go just watch the whole thing oh, that's fun. yeah I feel like I haven't had a show recently that I'm like next episode next episode but yeah. it is it's giving me that energy so I like it have you been keeping up with Golden Bachelor by the time this episode no up, he chose I his gal off. did you I've been I just caught up I like went and watched them and uh he'll be picking a gal soon wow in real time or like when you caught up when this episode is up, he like tonight as we're recording this, he's um, is the finale. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll just like watch the finale. Just like, watch well, the finale. I, yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. like that just cuts to it. Yeah, I watched like the first few episodes and yeah, like, I, feel like I know the, the characters. Yeah, some of it I am like, oh, that is a little cringe, but like you're also happy for them. Yeah, it's, just, it's different, but I think that's why I like it. I don't know if they'll be doing it again though. Do you think that they'll be? I thought I saw like you know they say like now casting. Uh-huh. I think I saw it again. Oh, yeah. So I think it's got their ratings up. I mean, I haven't been watching Normal Bachelor, but I yeah. watched Golden Bachelor. Yeah. So no, I feel you though on like the show. I just finished Gossip Girl for like the eighth time, and now I don't know what to watch. <laughs> you need a new show. Yeah. I need a new. I need like a new show too. And there's so many. I kind of want to watch Suits. Mm. I don't know. I watched a little bit of that. I it just like didn't hook me completely. Yeah, they gotta hook you. Yeah. I get it. What if you go back into like the archives and like watch like I've always wanted to watch the OC. Did you, did you ever watch that? That's a great idea. I don't know if it's a very cozy show. That's the only thing because <laughs> Gossip Girl I like to watch in the fall and I just already finished it. Yeah. Um, wow. So I you... usually do nine hundred two one zero in the summer or maybe I'll try OC. Mm. Yeah. Wow, maybe you I'll finished the whole one. show. Yeah. Do you like play it in I the just background? Play it. Oh, okay. I play it like a podcast. Gotcha. I literally know the lines, but I just <laughs> running lines. Yeah. You're like, I'm like, Chuck. Oh my Blair. Um, okay. What about you? My rec is, I was about to say squid game. That's not mine. Nope. Um, this is very, <laughs> this is very Um, we always direct people to our beautiful website, gals on the go podcast.com. And we are so proud of it. And we made it with Squarespace. And this podcast is actually brought to you by Squarespace. We love Squarespace because it makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place on your terms. 
I love telling people that we made our website with Squarespace because I feel like if you would go to it, you would think we used like a crazy coder and it was so complicated. And that is just simply not needed anymore. Like I, I feel like we have the capability of doing it on our own. And Squarespace is so cool because it's so customizable. You can add in a bunch of different things to suit your needs for whatever it is that you are offering online. You know, we have our merch linked. You can also easily sell custom merch and create a passive income stream that engages your audience and scales your brand. You you can sell your products, connect them to an online store. So whether you are selling physical, digital, or service products, you can also organize all of your content from one place. So they have a new asset library. So you're able to manage all of your files from one central hub and use them across the Squarespace platform. We love that we have our social medias linked on here. So you can go and check out like our real Instagram feed, like our new episodes. It's all in one place. And we love how beautifully we set it up with Squarespace. And it was made with ease. Let me tell you, we are not tech girlies over here. So if you want to check out Squarespace, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash gals to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, that's squarespace.com slash G-A-L-S gals to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. If you search on YouTube and you click, if you search holiday ambiance fireplace, I love like, have you ever watched any of like the lives? Yeah. Yeah. Cozy coffee shop live. Yeah. Like, yeah. I really like them during the fall winter months. Mm -hmm. I think they're just so lovely and they're so pretty and it's just nice to have on the background and you can choose ones where it's just a fireplace and it's crackling. You can add music and it says what type of music and these run for hours and the ones that are live i don't really understand what that means but i don't i don't really care or they'll have like cozy lake house and the, the lake is moving and you know i'll usually be doing something around my apartment or usually in the morning when i'm like having my coffee doing my planner i like to have that it's just a nice ambience and i highly suggest it that sounds cozy and wonderful it is fabulous yeah. i i need to do that again because i've been doing podcasts on the tv Oh, fun. I, I, did I ever talk about canceled podcast? Yeah. That's been my fix. Oh my God. I, I'm eating up the new episodes. And like they'll have a guest on and like if the guest has a podcast, like the, uh, Trisha Paytas and I did a whole thing on Trisha Paytas. Oh, that's like fun. I was like, oh, cause she has like long podcasts and yeah. you just put on the TV. My mom walked into the room in Florida when I was getting ready the other day and I was listening to Cancelled and she's always like, What like what you listening to? I was like, Oh, these two girls, they live in LA, like I don't know, but I you know <laughs> and I'm like, Wow, I guess that's how people feel with us. Yeah, you know, just like these two, oh, girls. two girls who live in New York. <laughs> that's true that probably is what they say yeah yeah that's funny well love that love 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 let's get into the gift guide um yeah we'll we'll uh semi rapid fire we'll do little chats and yeah things. why we picked these items if we have experience with these give items. me your why give me your why let them <laughs> my mom texted me glad i inspired you oh she's so inspired can she let us know all of the recent like I know, slogans she of the self-help an... community i know I, I she's been sending me more i think she realized i paid oh. attention do you send your mom like posts like will you guys send yeah each other memes? she's gotten good at that now do you with your mom yeah yeah it's fun mm -hmm. she'll send me like motivational things and i'll send her like I don't know. Like, There's definitely a difference between what I send my yeah, mom versus what she sends me. I send my mom like funny memes and she sends me like, you know, like cute things and she'll be, like cute dogs or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, reminds me of Cookie or something. Aww. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah. That is funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Number one category. Should we s start with for him? Yeah. Let's do it. Get the boys out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Truly. But they are kind of like the hardest to shop for in some ways, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Do you struggle with shopping for... I do. And not really like Ryan, but like my dad and my brother and just other men. Yep. Because some, some guys in my life are very picky in particular about how clothes fit them mm. and what materials. I don't know if you have that same experience. So it can get tricky. But um, what's your first? Yes. Um, this sweatshirt from Abercrombie. This is like a, when I do my links and everything, this is like a consistent top seller because I think like the price point is pretty good. Um, it is just a, it's the essential popover hoodie from oh, Abercrombie. Yep. Comes in a, literally a bajillion colors and I like that they're like more neutral tones. Um, it's actually $48 right now because it's 20% off. So like it's just a good price. Get your man a nice sweatshirt. It's a great one too, because like I kind of want to buy myself one. So you yeah. can get one and then you could borrow it, you know. Yeah. Sweater act and his yes. sweatshirt. Yes, it, it has a set too. So like if you want to get like the sweatpants, it comes in regular and tall, like a huge range of sizes. So I just think that 
this is a it's a good sweatshirt. I love Abercrombie that. Abercrombie clothes for men are it. Yeah. Yeah. My first one is I'm realizing that a lot of guys, especially if it's a quick trip, they just pack everything in a duffel bag. Mm. Like, does that is that what Ben does? Yeah. He well, he is in a way suitcase, so he just uses that for literally everything. Oh, like that's just kind good of for like, him. That's yeah. unique. I feel because it I, is all these guys. I'm like, just put the wheels on. Just use the wheels. Like, why do we have to like struggle with the bag and the overstrap? Yeah. Like, it actually makes me uncomfortable. I'm like, just use the wheel. But whatever. It's I don't know. <laughs> go, but <laughs> go with your wheels. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it on the plane. Whatever. Anyways, a lot of people mm. in my life, I feel like they use duffels and they use like their old high school football bags or whatever, yeah. old gym bags. Yeah. So Ryan, um, Herschel had sent me this Herschel duffel bag like a few years ago and he was like, I really want that. And I was like, take it. And I feel like now when he travels, he looks a little bit more put together for mm. it. Um, so I was gonna say spoiler, but my brother is definitely not listening to this. I'm going to get him one for Christmas because they're really nice. Like I have this Herschel bag, uh, linked. It's like a black duffel, but it has brown straps. Mm-hmm. It's very chic, not chic. I don't want to say chic, <laughs> sleek look. For men, but it's still a polished, nice, and it's got a good material. Because I think the leather ones are really pretty and really, or should I say, handsome. But they don't fit as much, and they don't have as much stretch to them. Yeah. And the Herschel ones are definitely a little bit more affordable, I'd say. And um, I think it's a really nice gift to get yeah. someone. It's a recognizable brand, too. Like, I feel yeah. like it's the type of thing you're like, oh, wow. Like it's yeah, and it's still it's manly. It's uh-huh. They're not going to be like, why'd you get me this? Like, you know, Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, what do you have That's next? That's great. Next, I have this polo boxer set. Um, I just think that these are nice looking. It's on Amazon. It's like a three pack of polo boxers. Um, this is like a blue set. Love. I feel like guys, I mean, you have to know what type of underwear they like. So I guess it's a little more like intimate. Like if they don't like boxers and they wear briefs, like obviously don't, right? Because boxers yeah. are like the loose ones. I don't know. I get it all confused. I feel like guys have their preferences with that sort of stuff. Well, then some guys call them compression shorts. Really? Not they don't call boxers. You know, yeah, like the tighter. Yeah, is that a brief? (laughs) <laughs> yes our producer yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> i know it's like we actually do need okay yeah, so yeah you're yeah. right briefs yeah so these I are re- like the loose ones which are yeah. like you know i like those some like i mean you could borrow them from your man like if yeah. you want to give them because people people wear them like shorts now i know, you know? with like i, I honestly think it's cute sweatshirt. i think it's a really cute look <laughs> yeah Next up, I have Lululemon joggers. Mm-hmm. I'm you can get a man as much Lululemon as you want, and I feel like they'll just be so happy. It's mm-hmm. just, and I've realized with guys like, yes, getting them clothes is boring, but they want to wear the clothes that you get them. Mm-hmm. They know that you're gonna like it. They know that it's probably nice, especially if it's someone you're dating more so. Sometimes my brother would be like, Daniel, I don't want to wear that, but with your guy, they're like, oh, she bought me this. She wants me to wear it. And the Lululemon joggers are just such a classic look. They look great. Love it. You can wear, dress them up or down. They're fabulous. I think it's a great gift. Even if they have a pair, I think getting them a second pair is exciting. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. Lululemon for guys. I mean, once yeah. again. I feel like for, with men, it's pretty simple. you got to get them something that they recognize. Like, it's like, yeah, oh, like, oh, I know that brand. I know. I've, oh, my gosh. Everyone says that that brand is yeah, so great. You yeah, know? yeah. A little bit of brand recognition there is key. Um, next up is this Truff gift set. I think that this is fantastic. This is the hot sauce stuff. So I guess yes. if you're not into hot sauce, like this isn't really great. But I feel like this is fantastic for like dad, father-in-law, like mm-hmm. those type of people who you're like literally, what am I going to get this man? This is great. It comes with, there's a bunch of that, uh, different sets. But like the one that I picked out is like a regular hot sauce, their signature like black truffle hot sauce, and then like the truffle infused olive oil. They also have um, other sets that are like the truffle mayo, which I love. It comes in like a really nice box. You can like literally stick a bow on it, like super easy to give. Stick a bow. Stick a bow. Easy to give. And I think it's a literally a hot gift. <laughs> It is. It is like uh, it's in right now. Like at the Popeyes was doing like a collab with Truff recently. Like know. it's a pop. It, it's in right now. It is. Mm-hmm. My next one is. This might seem interesting. Do you find like whenever Ryan's in my apartment, he just starts drinking out of my Stanley. Like mm-hmm. they pull for the Stanley. Why? Because it's incredible. It's got a nice handle. It's cold. Get your man a Stanley water bottle. Mm. At first, he might be like, "Why do I need one of these?" He's going to use it every single day. Mm-hmm. Me and my friends were talking about this. I have this like group chat with a ton of girlfriends of like Ryan's friends that from, oh, and they just cute. got brought back. Like we haven't talked in in a while and they're like, "Okay, ladies, send gift ideas." And we were talking about how Stanleys, they really just they would like it. Mm-hmm. You can get them a cool stainless steel one or like a more masculine looking one if that's their vibe. And they just can pop mm-hmm. it in their desk. They probably won't bring it to work, but they can put it on their desk and they have cold water all the time. You're so right. But I'm always trying to pawn off my items on Ben and he actually like 
wanted i had a spare stanley and i was like i have to figure out like so he has one and he was like oh actually i'll take it i was like wow he never at like yeah i don't need it i don't need it and he loves it so highly suggest yeah Yeah. keeps your water cold like a nice cup yeah i agree i guess like for portable transportation like not the best but if you like work from home or you can keep it at your office maybe they can put it in their car yeah i just think they'll find it very useful I think so too. Um, next I have Manscaped. Um, no, I'm not like so, so into like what's what, but I think this is the, like the new release one that people are liking the Manscaped lawnmower 5.0. Now this is for trimming like down there. So I guess, I don't know if I would get it. Like, I feel like this is more of like boyfriend, but at the same time, I don't know. I got one for my brother. I didn't think it was that weird. Cause like, it's you just, did? yeah, I, I mean, honestly I had one. So I was like, I went to an event and I was like, yeah. Oh, like, would you use this? But I don't think it's, it's more, they're trying to like rebrand it more for like body hair trimmer and stuff too. Yeah. 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 And you really could use it anywhere. Cause there's different heads and stuff. It is one of those brands that's like in yeah, <laughs> hot gift. Yes. And, and I think this is the type of thing that if you want to get someone into more grooming or something like if, you know, your boyfriend or husband or something like that. Um, and like, I'm looking through the pictures right now. Like they show it for like shaving your chest. Like sure, it, cause oh, it's, you could use it anywhere. It's yeah. not just for down there. Yeah. They should rebrand a little bit. That's yeah. Good. And this one is, I guess like the newest, like best one. And it comes with like a travel pouch and stuff. So I cool. love that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. Next up, I have a pair of sneakers. So Ryan and I went to Disney and you know, cause we love Disney. Mm-hmm. We're just going to talk about this. I'm <laughs> kidding. Any chance we get. Um, and I posted literally like a photo of us in front of a tree. It was really far away. And I got so many, and I'm, I'm not just saying that. Like I got so many questions, where are Ryan's mm-hmm. sneakers from? Where are Ryan's sneakers from? And Ryan was like, wow, the, they were on a fashion like, he, influencer. <laughs> yeah, he picked them out. I had gone with him, but he fully picked them out. They're a nice like lifestyle shoe. You know, they're like, you can walk in them, but they're more of his like, you know, dress, not dressing up shoe, but like going out to dinner. Or no, he wouldn't yeah, wear them out to dinner. I mean, well, he wore them at Disney too. I don't know, but they're just, they look a little sleeker. They're not okay. like running looking shoes. And I think that's why people, so these are the New Balance 574s. I'll have them linked the exact one he has. They're like a gray and blue and it goes with a lot of his outfits. Um, but they have other like colorways. But I just thought I'd call it out here because I feel like a lot of people were like, I want to get something like this for my boyfriend because they want, you know, the shoes really pulled together a whole outfit. And yeah. these are very like sleek, cool looking shoes. I love that. Yeah. That's a good call out. And if like shoes, sneakers, I feel like for men are, unless they're like into sneakers, like that's a whole different category. But yeah, I feel like it's a, type, yeah. it's a type of thing that it, it, they might not want to buy for themselves because like I have sneakers at work. Like, right. you know, it's the type of thing. It's like do something. But like, they'll get so excited. When yeah. guys see a shoe box, they get oh, really excited. That's a, that's a good gift idea. Uh, next, I have a, a body massager. Um, Theragon obviously is a popular brand, but I like the price point a little bit better of the Hyper Ice brand. And this is like, my brother's like into sports and whatever. And he's like, this is like a good, a very good brand. Like oh, he always tells nice. me that like at his, he, he does like some sort of like training like, uh, and they like use this brand on him. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's like good PT, to know. Thanks, not so. PT, whatever. So this is the Hypervolt 2 Precision Massage Device. I think if they're into fitness, stuff like, like this is great. Um, but also like, I feel like this is good for like dads, maybe more like your uncle. Like, I don't know, like that older yeah. category too. Cause I feel like they are be a little more sore like you know yeah you know? no they love it that's a, that's like an exciting toy for an adult person like a grown yes. man yeah uh, Something nice. my last one for a man is a nice dop kit mm. when i say dop kit i mean like a toiletry bag some people don't really know what that word means but i found my brother oh my god or no not my brother my dad he still travels with like an old clear plastic bag that was in one of his suitcases. And that's what he, and I'm like, dad, for Christmas, I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm getting him. Cause they could put, you know, their cologne, their, yeah, razor, yeah. their toothbrush, but like a nice one. I linked like a landing page with a ton of them, like a nice leather one. And they just look so nice on the counter. Mm-hmm. So they're not like, ew, what is that? Like, especially if you live with them, you want them to have a nice dop kit. Yeah. And you could, you could put, you know, a cologne or a cologne sample in there to, you know, oh, best paired with going. like a little bundle. How about a manscaped? You could put manscaped. <laughs> no, hundred percent. You could yeah. put the manscaped in the dop kit. Yeah, that's if you're looking to spend, of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit pricier, but I uh-huh. think if it's someone you're really close with, then you I can know. make it a whole. Then that's the gift, and it's like, oh, you didn't just get me a, yeah. a bag. <laughs> that's a whole. We could like deep dive on this conversation. Like, how much do you spend on your partner? Like, I feel like that's a real big thing. Like, because yeah. it's. Like, I, obviously you don't see it as like, it's got to be even, but you want to spend roughly the same cost. So do you talk about it before? Like, do you guys talk about that before? We have in the past. Or like throw out their like gift ideas. You're like, I'm thinking of it. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't know. We haven't had a discussion about this year yet. No, we haven't either. So I just wasn't sure. I feel like it yeah. varies. 
Um, I feel like it's the type of thing where we discuss like vague ideas of what mm-hmm. we would get for each other. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to align like con- conceptually with like where you're going. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. We, we've said budgets before and then, but sometimes that's just hard mm-hmm. to like, you know, no, no, I get it. It's a personal conversation. I always wonder what couples do though, especially like if you live together and you're like working on the same financial goals and stuff like I, it's like a loaded thing to really think about. Yeah. I think, and some couples, like I know some couples that are like, eh, we're just not going to do gifts. I thought about saying that to Ryan this year. Like, let's just not, mm-hmm. but I want to, I'm like, you don't have to do everything. <laughs> I just really, I, he wears yeah. these Georgia shirts all the time. Have I already said this on the podcast? Yeah. 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 And I'm like, you need new ones. Like it's just, you get him a re- the Peter Millaro, right? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, no, no, but you know, like just like a t-shirt, uh-huh. like, all of his t-shirts from Georgia are literally from his freshman year and they're just tight on his arms. And oh I, yeah. I don't like that look personally. So I'm going to change that. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like, yeah. I'll get him that. I actually have a bonus item. Um, bonus. bonus, I got my brother some stuff from Skims Men, so we'll see if he likes it, because he's into, like, cutoffs and stuff, so Report I... Report back. What? Report Oh, back. I will. We'll see how he likes it. I know, yeah. I was, like, nervous. I didn't know the I didn't go all the way. Like, I was, I was like, I could go all in and get, like, a ton of Skims. I was like, let me just do that. Try a you few know? basics like, yes. and see what he thinks. Because I could have leaned in. Like, then I was, like, adding so much. I was like, and the sweatshirt, and the sweatpants, and this, but then I was like, what if some, if he doesn't like it, then that's a problem. Yeah, because you know? I feel like we don't know enough people that, like, reviewed it, like, yes. how the fit is. I need a personal opinion. Like, yeah. a personal, like, a Definitely. Or testimonial. That's what it is. So our next category is for her. This could be girlfriend, sister. Sister, bestie, mother-in-law, mother-in-law, sister-in-law. sister-in-law. I don't know. Just anything. Yeah, whatever it may be. Uh, first up, I have the Caraway Linens set. <laughs> Why can't they I say linens? that? Linens. But it's not like linen. So it's they just call it the linen set, but it's an apron, oven oh. mitts. Um, what are these? Like, uh, what are the, kit. like, not oven mitts. Like, the things that you pull. Oh, pot holders. Pot holders. Oh, here. It says right here, tea towels. Mm. Um, and I, the, the, this is another one that like, they'll know the brand, you know, yeah. you see the niceness of it. I feel like this would be perfect for like a mother-in-law, sister-in-law, like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love that. I, I was, when I saw that earlier, I was like, what's a linen set from Caraway? I didn't click. Yeah. I, lazy. I feel like everybody could, you know, you have like the, the old pot holders. Maybe they have some pasta yeah. sauce on them. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what my mom said to me the other day? What? It was Thanksgiving and I was stressed because I was cooking a little bit more than I thought I was going to be. And she was like, Danielle, guys like a girl that can cook. (laughs) And I was like, I know that. I get like weird when she talks about stuff like that. And she was like, put on an apron. (laughs) And I was like, why? She's like, did you, do you not know that's a thing? Like guys (laughs) like a girl in aprons. I'm like, we're done talking about this. No, I I know, mom, but I didn't need to hear it from you. Yeah, I'm like, I do know. I'm sure, yeah, they do love a girl in apron with, like, heels on it. I'm like, yeah. I don't need to, like, hear Welcome that. Welcome to the 1950s. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> she's like do, you, do you know that's, like, a thing? She, like, tries to educate me. And I'm that's like, yes, so mom. funny. Anyways, my first one, I can't lie. I just bought this for myself because I just want it so bad. You, you're that person. I like, am. Like, you're like, do you even have a wish list? No, I just because I bought you, my wish list. I bought uh, it. I wanted the Alexa frame, and I bought it okay. for myself. What is the Alexa frame? Because Clara, our friend Clara Purse, keeps posting about it, and I use this thing every day. So it's the Amazon Alexa, the Echo Show. You have one too, right? Yeah, you have in the, my kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. I upgrade mine every few years, and I've had this one in my apartment for a few years. It's just amazing. Like, if you utilize it, it's worth it. You know, it's my speaker. Mm-hmm. It's my weather. It's my time. It's my timer. I put recipes on there. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Even and the then, small ones are good, though. The small ones. Say. They literally have so many sizes. Yeah, you could get, like, the old generation small ones for pretty cheap now. They're incredible. I yeah. use it as my alarm clock, like, the small one. Like, yeah. My parents have it in the kitchen. Like, it's it's very universal. Yeah. That's a good gift, too, actually. Yeah, just any of them. Um, But I have to call out the Alexa frame it, it's kind of like it just looks like a frame and so you can hang it up or you could put it on a stand I bought the stand but I might hang it up because I think it looks really nice mm. but our friend Clara just moved to Charleston and she posted and I was like I immediately need that I mean like look how cute I did see that it looks like a picture frame and she said the um you could like hang it vertically or horizontally I'm very interested it's definitely on the pricier side so but I got a Black Friday deal on it so I was pumped oh, but I think that's if you do already use them I think it's a really cool gift yeah. Cool. Um, next, I have this travel jewelry case. This is actually something I got from my mom's. Sorry, mom. Spoiler alert. Um, oh, that's cute. She pretty much asked for it. It's from Mark and Graham. I really like this website, too. I found really... I don't want to spoil other gifts I got for people in my life, but they have... You're going to have to order it, like, now, because if you want it personalized, they're big on, like, you know, they have 
per, like you can yeah, add I've monograms or like it's great for like family type gifts you know the the carolyn family like you could like write yeah, stuff on it cute. yeah I think they adopt kits too yes they do and it's a little little travel jewelry holder and you could like add I your monogram those, or whatever like the structure yeah it's a vibe uh-huh Thank you. Good gift idea. My next one, uh, simple, but I've seen this style a lot, the New Balance 9060s. I think those are the new New Balance sneakers of the year, so I think that's a great gift for a girl. I'll have to Mm -hmm. check those out. I'm not familiar. Yeah, they're cool. Next, I have the New Face. Been hearing a lot of buzz, quite literally, about the New Face recently. Are those the ones that Yes, I I know you don't like them. It's micro current. Uh, I I want to like like them. I know people, it works. Yeah, Um, but I feel like this is a great gift for all ages because... I've seen it for like, you know, more our generation that people yeah. are interested because it like lifts the face. But then I feel like as you get older for like moms or people like that, people are interested because it's like anti-aging. Definitely. Um, yeah. I feel like this would be a good gift to like chip in if you have like a lot of siblings and you're like, oh, like let's all go in on one gift together for mom. I don't That's know if people really do nice. that. It's like my brother and I have done that in the past. Oh, definitely. It's mm-hmm. really, it's honestly genius because then yeah. you get them a nicer gift. Uh-huh. Next up, uh, Byredo Perfumes. They are so awesome. If you go to a department store, they usually sell Byredo. I know Nordstrom does. It's a really fun experience. If you go in, they have so many different amazing scents. The bottles are really pretty. Any girl will be very excited. I feel like it's a pretty well-known brand at this point. Um, Some of my notable favorites are Rose of No Man's Land. It's one of my favorites. A lot of people like Mojave Ghost. Um, Oh, and then, uh, what's the name? It's not coming to me. I don't want to waste it. Saffron. I think it's like a you need to do a scent gift guide i do free idea thank you you're welcome like for different personalities or something yeah like you some run with that idea i will you could workshop it, it. On my way. <laughs> what's your next one um i have the skims gift set um once again skims obviously depending on the person i don't know if i would buy my mother-in-law the underwear the thong pack but like you know for friends or something because i we got these because we like yeah. are working with them I'm obsessed, and it comes in the cutest so, little box. I have them, too. They're amazing. The pajama set comes in this wonderful box. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I just, it's gift ready. I love the things that come, like, yes. kind of ready to go. Another brand that you recognize, you're like, oh, my gosh, I've heard so much, you know, about this. I think it's hot right now. So Those, whatever it may be. The thong set, the bralette right set, pajamas, if you want to go a little more safe, or, like, a robe or something. <laughs> more safe. Yeah, like, I don't know if I would get, like, it's very specific. Who are you going to get, like, the thong yeah. pack for, like, you know? Yeah. Um... My next one is a free people scarf. I think those are so beautiful. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, a, you know, in that middle price range, I'd say, because, you know, you could go like the Acne Studio ones, but those are even more expensive. Free People has these really cute, thick, chunky scarves. It'll make any girl so happy. You can mm-hmm. put a little Essie nail polish in with it, a cute little cute. bundle. Um, they're really, they just elevate any outfit. They're so warm. They're so cozy. And I think anyone would be really excited about oh, a I scarf. I love that. Yeah. Uh, on the note of a scarf, I have the J. Crew oversized wrap. This was what I used in Nantucket. You yeah. Know, to, oops, sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. <laughs> I'm like throwing my phone. Yeah. Um, this also comes in a myriad of colors um, and it looks like they they have codes to like get a discount. It's a really nice quality wrap. You can use it as a scarf. You can use it like, you know, if you want to be like, you know, um, what's that show? The... We made we made like a TikTok making fun of it. Oh, um, Big Little Lies. Yes, yeah. if you want to be like rich mom, Big Little yeah, Lies, yeah, like yeah, throw yeah. it over your shoulder. Oh, that's funny. Um, I think this is a great gift. I think spoiler alert, I'm gonna get one for my grandma for the holidays. That's a great grandma gift. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> that's perfect. Like right, she'll be very excited. She'll probably put it on right away. Yeah, and you could use it as like a travel blanket too. You know. Oh, mm. I never thought about that. Mm. You could just pop it in your tote bag. It does everything. Like it's it's what they called like blanket wrap. Oh no, sorry, it's called oversized cashmere wrap. I just made that up, but that's cute. Yeah, I like okay. that. My last one is a set active set. Um, they just have so many amazing, mm-hmm. really cute sets. They just came out with a ton of new styles that I want every single one. They have like long sleeve ones since it's winter now. Some great mm-hmm. colorways, um, and I think that's just like an easy, great gift that people love. It is. Hot brand. Hot brand. Right. Should right. we do under fifty dollars gifts? Under fifty. The difference between fifty and twenty five was tough. Yes, because a lot of the gifts were what like thirty five dollars yes. or something kind of like that price point. Yeah. 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 Um, but to make it easy. All right. First, I have my the lighted makeup mirror. I don't know a gal in the world who wouldn't love an, a mirror. Like if they don't already have one. Some people already have their mirror. So, but this is the one that I use. It's thirty bucks. Has all the lights around it. Um, even if they're not like a makeup girly, like I feel like girls just like the idea of like a mirror to do their skincare in, yeah. to you know, see up close and personal. That's a great, and or if you were doing 
a gift exchange and a white elephant, I feel like everyone would fight over that one. Yes. I love. Yeah, it's the type of thing you don't want to buy for yourself because you're like, oh, it's a mirror. It's kind of boring. Yeah. But like anyone would be happy with it. 100%. Mm-hmm. That's a great one. My first one, I don't own this, but I, it's on, I have my eye on it. The Comfy. Have you seen yes, these? Yes. I, I used to have one. Yeah. Oh, really? They're yeah. so cute. So they're these huge, basically sweatshirt blankets. Uh-huh. And I think that's another like, good white elephant gift mm-hmm. or for someone that loves to rot on their couch. I think it's a perfect gift. Yeah. And I have it on Amazon. Love that. Next, I have a bath caddy. Um, if you have to know that they take baths, like or they're like, I feel like I would get this for your mom. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> does she take baths? I'm picturing like college shower no, caddy. No, <laughs> no, it's like the, the oh, wooden thing yeah. that goes across. Yeah, my mom. I should get her one. Oh, free idea. Free idea. Yes. I'm out here with the free ideas. Yes, today. thank you, Brooke Michio. <laughs> mom, stop listening. Um, it's wooden. This one I've seen. I feel like I saw my uh, my Nikki side of clean talk talk about this one because it's. I like, saw her use this. Yeah, it has so many things. It has a stand for like your book. It's like expandable. It um has like little compartments and stuff. I just think it's wonderful. You have to know that they like take baths or yeah. have access yeah, to a tub. A little, I guess yeah. <laughs> access to a tub. Yeah. I love that. Next up, I have Bala bangles. I just mm. saw they have a pink ones. So cute. Great gift idea. For your Pilates princess friend, mother that likes to go for their walks. I know like a lot of moms I see on walks now, they'll put them on their ankles. I've actually never done that. Have you? Like gone on a walk, like not on a treadmill, like no. outside. Mm-mm. I see people doing it and I'm sure it's really great. So, and that's like under $50. I think wow. that's a fun gift. Uh, next, I have a portable charge. I love this portable charge. It's my favorite one. It's, it's from what brand? Uh, Anchor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anchor. I'm kidding. It comes in different colors, attaches to the back of your phone. It's like the wireless one that I like yeah, always like just like clip on. Yeah, I just think it's a great gift. Like who would be mad about getting like something so practical? You know? I don't think anyone would. You, be another mad. thing you don't want to buy for yourself. Yes. Mm-hmm. The key to gift giving is someone that something they don't want to buy for themselves. <sighs> um, okay, headache relief cap and ice roller. I'm obsessed. I got one. I said I said an ice roller because I think then that equals up to fifty dollars. The headache relief cap. You've seen it on. You've seen it on. You've TikTok. seen it. You've seen her on TikTok. You've seen yeah. her. Oh my god! I literally see it on TikTok all the time. And then I made a TikTok. Just literally, I was half asleep. Uh-huh. I put it on. It, it it got so many views. I think just because it's so relatable, it really feels so good on your head. So these are for your friends that get hungover or just get headaches, migraines. I have some mm. migraine prone friends. And then you can add in a little Amazon ice roller, and it's a fun little bundle. Oh, I love a bundle. I gift. know yeah. it's a bundle day. Wow. Um, also, ice rollers for the men. I feel like we mm. need to enter a new market with that because some of Ben's friends came over my apartment the other day, and one of them was like obsessed with my ice roller. Like thought oh it was God. the most unique thing. He, he was like, "This would be perfect if you're hungover, or whatever." I was like, Did "We need to expand use this." It? Yeah, he just started like rolling. I was like, "Now I need to disinfect." I was mm, thinking like, would you like Yeah, that? no, I'm fine with that. But it is you like just wash it. It's yeah, personal. No, I'm completely fine with it, but I think that that could be a new market, though. That is. Yeah. Like a manly-looking, like, aluminum steel <laughs> one. I like that. Yeah. Um, next, I have Javianas mm. Flip-Flops, another, like, Love. brand that you recognize. I know it's, like, kind of off-season for us. If you're experiencing, like, a winter, you might not be thinking flip-flops, but they're 30 bucks. Um, I like the slim ones. Yeah, they're very nice-looking on the foot. A lot of people go on these tropical vacations during this yeah. time of year, so... Uh, next up, I have seen the shoulder bag all over TikTok again. It's on Amazon. It's a really, they have a few colors, but Amazon has really great bags. If you have like a trendy pal who loves shoulder bags, mm-hmm. this one is like a nice wine cherry color, but they also have like, this is the bag. Oh, they also have like black, cute. white, green, but it's like a really pretty patent material. It's actually $27. And I think that's a really great gift. Love into mm-hmm. a shoulder bag right now. Yeah. Mm. Practical. Uh, speaking of bags, the Lululemon belt bag, of course, you know her, I you love attest. her, you've yeah. seen her everywhere. Literally She's incredible. And they have so many different styles now. So many. You could do the one L. I like the two L cause it's a little bit bigger. It could fit kind of a little bit more stuff. You Definitely. can get Sherpa, not Sherpa. Once again, so many colors. And I feel like this is also perfect for all ages. Like literally tweens. Tweens. Yeah, that could be like their first bag. Yeah. I've seen, I saw them in the mall. Like I know that they like it. The Sonic they Pink, they're obsessed. Oh. Yeah, but then also like, I, I'm, I think my mom got one for my grandma. Another spoiler. Wow. I'm just Does your grandma here. listen? I don't know. Okay. She's told me before. She's like, um, I watched podcast on YouTube, but you never know. Like, is it every episode? We'll know. Is it one off? If she texts <laughs> yeah. it, we'll know. Yeah. We need to put little code words in there. Yes. 
Um, last one under fifty, salt and stone candles. I think you've had them. In yeah, the house, maybe. they're great. Great they're brand. Great. I used My to favorite. Deodorant. Yes, they're so good, and they and they really do produce scent. I'm not going to tell you about a candle if it's not making my room smell good. This one works. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. And they have good like soaps and body mm-hmm. washes. Um, so yeah, they sell it on That's Revolve and other websites. Fantastic. Yeah. Love to hear it. Um, last category. On, now we'll do under twenty five gifts. Um, all right. And first, I have the Anthropology lighter mug. I drank out of mine this morning. You did? Uh, yeah. The one that people gave us on the tour? Yes. That was the nicest gift. It was the nicest gift. It was so, it literally looks like a subway tile. It's uh-huh. so cute. Really cute. And once again, just a nice thing. You open it, you're like, wow, this is a, a nice gift. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, my first one is an air tag. I, I think that's one of those things. I mm-hmm. use mine all the time now. I love tracking my suitcase. I think one is like 27, but I put it under this category. So. I cheated. Am I, uh... Well, if you use Rakuten and you get your cash back. There you <laughs> go. Yes, there we go. I just think air tags are the coolest thing ever that's great um i know you did a scarf before but this airy scarf when i did the Ooh. staycation with them they <gasps> gave it to us cute. yeah and this one it's literally like 18 dollars or so yeah really it's heavy, and it's like the chunky heavy oh, blanket that's even scarf. better price point uh-huh 18 dollars like make nice, you holler. thick um and if you want to once again pair that with like gloves and whatever i don't know anyone that would be opposed to getting like another glove never scarf set no matter what climate you live in you could always use definitely Next up, I think this is another little bundle moment. If you, I've seen this everywhere. It's a flower vase that's shaped like a purse. Have you seen this? No. They're so, so cute. It's like a clear purse, but it's a flower vase. And I think you kind of have to get the flowers. Cute. <laughs> so you could bring them the purse flower vase. And With then flowers. I'm trying to show you. They're so cute. Of course, it's taking forever to load. But you could put like tulips in them. You could cute. do like roses. It's still loading. But um, yeah, that's, that's a great. great one. Um, next, I have a French pin. These, these are the like the hair thing that I've been noticing people do. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to do it, but I know that it's very trendy. I feel like it's like the, the claw clip of right now. Yeah. Like people are really using They're it and talking pretty. about it. Um, and I found this one on Target. I think it's a two-pack. Yeah, two-count from like Kristen S. brand. That's $12. Love Kristen Stocking S. stuffer, you know, for, yeah. for the trendy gal in your life. That's cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, Barefoot Dream Socks. I own a couple pairs and I love them. If they are not like someone to wear slippers or I'll mm-hmm. wear them under like my boots if I need like a thicker sock for my boots. They're so warm and they're so cozy and p- people, ob- it's a recognizable brand as you would say. That's one of my favorite gifts. I give it like frequently. It's such mm-hmm. a good gift. <laughs> yep. Right. Um, next we have the Drizzle Olive Oil. I've talked to you about this brand. This is the uh, Grazia brand. Like I yes. told you about this like because it's good packaging, whatever. This is like a finishing olive oil, so it's more for like topping your oh, stuff. Yeah. Wow. You could do the two pack and get the sizzle, like the cooking one and the drizzle. Sizzle and yeah. the drizzle. Yeah. I love that. I love an olive oil as a gift. I feel like that's another thing you don't want to buy for yourself, like nice olive oil. And yeah, that's not? Like, really This cute. is like eating this with like bread, you know? Definitely. Mm-hmm. With bread, yum. Next up, the Yeti Slim Can Cooler, um, it, or Coaster, or not Coaster, <laughs> oh my God, Koozie. Or I think they call it, I think I wrote that because that's what they call it, but it's like a koozie. You I love discovered this. it. It, this summer and it's great if you drink like you know white claws mom waters spritz society stuff like that mm-hmm. you can put it in this and it keeps your drink cold th- to the very last sip i can't believe i just discovered this mm-hmm. and people again people love a yeti moment or brewmate has one too mm-hmm. it's a recognizable brand people get very excited they're very no tasty. laws when you no <laughs> laws <laughs> when you're drinking those cold claws yeah <laughs> <laughs> lastly um i already talked about it summer fridays but their lip balm yeah this is yeah. another one that I feel like this would hit for like the tweens, teens market. You As know? the Gen Alphas would call this preppy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. They would love it. Yeah. It's like right. It's $24. So it's like just about. Like butter balm. Mm-hmm. You can get it in ones that have like a little tint to them or just like the. The vanilla beige. Is so I lo- that's perfect. Get the mm. vanilla beige. Yep. My last one is also a lip product. Uh, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms. They're oh. amazing. There's a little set on Macy's. Love that one. I've been, I kind of am late to the game, but I've been using it and I, I like the plumping ones too. They're great. Yeah, they're really great. Yeah. They just look so good on your lips. It's a nice, like, all over. I like yeah. that all in one product. Yes. Because, you know, then you got the lipstick, the gloss. Like, no, yeah. with that one, it's just all in one. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we did it. We got through it. Ho, That's ho, ho. a wrap. We love you guys so much. Happy holidays. Uh, let us know if you want to hear any other holiday yeah. themes. As you guys <laughs> listening to this, we're in Dallas, Texas. Yes. We have our show tonight. Tomorrow night we'll be in Austin. So if any of you guys are coming, we're so excited to see you guys. Oh my gosh, can't wait. And we'll see you guys if you're coming to the New York show next week. Yeah. Wow. Big two well, weeks for the guys. Love okay. you guys. Bye. Bye.